Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Pete and on this channel I make videos exploring alternative methods to health and wellness as well as punishing myself with weekly grueling fitness challenges. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, maybe think about subscribing. In this week's challenge, I've been exploring the world of barefoot shoes. What are barefoot shoes? Do they work? And will they heal my never healing case of patella bursitis? All this and more coming up, so stay tuned and let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the video. So in this video, we're looking at Vivo Barefoot running shoes. I'll just go with a little backstory here. Those of you who follow me on Instagram will know that I was in Bali for a good seven months at the start of this year. And pretty much the whole time I was there, I didn't wear any shoes because it's Bali. So it's basically flip flops or I would be barefoot the whole time. I didn't really think anything of this until I was going to catch the plane home and I put my trainers on and my feet were like in agony and I was like what the hell is going on and I feel like my feet had grown or got wider which I think apparently does happen when you don't wear shoes. Anyway ever since then I've been struggling to wear shoes since I've been back in the UK. Yeah I've been just wearing flip flops again but now it is getting cold. So I recently met up with a friend and he told me about this Evo barefoot running shoes and I was like I've seen those barefoot shoes before they look like marigolds on your feet you know the ones I'm talking about with the the finger feet and I was like, I'd rather be in pain than be seen wearing those things. <laughs> he had these Vivo barefoot shoes and they actually look like trainers. So I looked them out and yeah, I was happy with what I saw. I jumped onto the Vivo barefoot website. So they were explaining basically that the perfect shoe is perfect for feet. Vivo barefoot shoes are thin, wide and flexible, where the average trainer is actually stiff, firm with a big heel. Natural foot is wide, fan shaped, flexible with free dynamic arches and sensory of thousands of nerve endings. So yeah, the more I read about them, the more I liked them, and it, the more it made sense. Like, we're born perfect, like shoes are an invention that we only need because the ground we walk on is full of nails and whatever and we'll cut our feet open. So like, the shoe, shoe is basically invented to protect our feet, but we've kind of, they've kind of amalgamated into this kind of cushioned, like, pillow almost that you walk on. And so yeah, it kind of made sense to me. So I looked, decided I'm gonna take the plunge. I'm gonna move and try this barefoot movement myself. So I looked on their website, I looked through, they had a multitude of shoes and one really stuck out to me, the Primus Leap to Recycled. So they're made completely of recycled materials, which is awesome. That's kind of like my whole ethos, like sustainability, looking after the environment, that's everything I want. And they also, they're that confident in the shoes themselves that they give you a 100 day trial. So if you don't like them or you're not comfortable with them, even after 100 days, they take them back with a full refund. So you literally have like nothing to lose trying these out. Yeah, they're pretty pricey for a pair of shoes. So the premium to looking at 110 pound. Yeah, not the cheapest shoes, but looking after our health and wellness here. So, oh, another thing I've experienced since wearing shoes, since I got back from Bali, is a lot of knee pain. I went for, I've been going for several runs and every time I run, my knee gets almost inflamed. I had patella bursitis before, which means basically it's a repetitive strain injury where you aggravate your knee and your bursia caps feel full of fluid. And I can feel that like pretty much almost happens every time I run. And I think that's definitely got to be something to do with wearing shoes because I was running barefoot in Bali and again it was fine and I really do want to work on my fitness so I'm hoping maybe I can run like people swear that running in barefoot is the best way to do it anyway so I'm hoping it will help with my running or stop my knee pain um... okay so here they are they arrive really quickly as well like two days Okay, so these are the Primus Light 2 recycled. As you can see, these are very thin, which is kind of annoying because I'm like 5'10 and when I wear shoes with a big heel, I'm normally almost six foot. Oh, but easy to pack. So yeah, very flexible. I guess let's try them on. They look good though, like I'm not really that bothered by fashion anymore. I'm definitely at that age where it's more about comfort and feeling good than looking good. Those days are over, my friend.
Okay, so first impressions are good. Just walking around in the kitchen. Kind of remind me, I don't know if you've ever been like scuba diving or like snorkeling with flippers. They're like tight around around your ankles, around your feet there, but then they kind of go wider for your toes. So yeah, it's kind of a weird feeling, but they do feel free and you can kind of feel the floor. Yeah, I guess this is day one. I'm gonna take them for a run in a bit. And I guess that'll be the true testament to see how they're actually feeling. But I'm so far so good, super happy. i say they feel light, they feel comfortable, which is a plus. Sometimes you can put shoes on. And for me, I know they don't feel comfortable. But yeah, this I'm excited. It's gonna be a good week. I'm gonna wear them all week. And then yeah, let you know my experience, whether I'm gonna be sticking with them, whether they're a no-go and I'm gonna to have to look for something else else or whatever. I guess I'll see you when I'm going on my run. Which will be in a while, but for you, very soon. So that is the first run in the Vivo Barefoot shoes done. I'm very aware that my hair looks ridiculous, but I just wanted to capture how good I feel. That was amazing, super stoked of how that went. No knee pain whatsoever. I did read on some sites that you might feel sore because you're basically teaching yourself to, <laughs> teaching yourself to run again because you're actually using different muscles or something like that. Anyway, it didn't feel any pain whatsoever. Super stoked, excited for the week, what's gonna come. I'm gonna really take the bad boys for a test drive and give them all I got so we get full analysis on how they go throughout the week. But yeah, day one, very positive. So see you soon. Hello, so it's um, day five of the Vivo week, checking out the barefoot shoes and I just want to do a quick check-in. It's been a great week so far, I've already talked about it already. My running has been really good, no knee pain whatsoever, each run getting faster and faster. Um, but, but today's the first day I have experienced some calf pain or like real calf soreness. When I was reading about the barefoot shoes, there was a lot of people saying that you really have to take your time. like. You're basically reteaching yourself to walk. You're going to be using all these different muscles in your feet, which then corresponds to your calves, your legs, which kind of makes sense. I was kind of surprised that I hadn't felt anything for the first four days, seeing as I had been running pretty much every day and I've been walking in them every day. I'm not going to go for a run today, I think. Take it easy. Still love the shoes. I'm going to go for a walk in them. Yeah, they feel amazing. Yeah, actually, on the run yesterday, I did notice you do kind of feel like stones and stuff when you're running. I kind of like that, you know, it's kind of, you feel more more present, more connected with the run rather than, you know, like you're running on your wedges or your sponge like heeled shoes. Long story short, there was some calf pain, but it's nothing serious. I still love the shoes. Vivo for life. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll check back in. Want to have anything more exciting to say or if it will just be the end of the video and I'm reviewing the shoes. But yeah, peace. Hello, so it's the end of the challenge or challenge um, the review of the shoes. And what can I say? It's been a very positive week for me. I am converted. These are my old shoes. They're no longer my shoes. They're done with. These are the way forward for me. Yeah, so how has the week been? Absolutely amazing. From the moment I put them on, these flippers have served me well. I felt no pain, super comfortable. I feel like I move better now. Did have slight calf pain on two days ago, but that I think was because I have been running so much and I haven't run 
consistently for, for a long time. So you can almost neglect, negate, almost get rid of that final thoughts, final review. If you think you have any problems with your walking or running, you have pronation, supination, flat feet, anything like that, I would highly suggest checking these out. As I said at the beginning of the video, you get a hundred days free trial period. So if you try them on and they don't seem to work for you, then you can send them back, no questions asked. They're great for the planet. They don't look too bad. Like they maybe not look like your Nike Air Jordans, but for me, they even match the color of my trousers. Been skipping, running, working out in these things all week long. I haven't felt a single pinch of my patella bursitis. I'm even considering doing a squat challenge for my next fitness challenge, so stay tuned. Yeah, nothing but good things. I will 100% be buying more barefoot shoes whenever I need shoes, but I'm just gonna be living in these. Maybe I'll do an update in like three months, because obviously a week in, I'm still very fresh and new to the shoe. But yeah, maybe in like three months, I'll check in, see what the general wear and tear is, if I'm still as psyched for them as I am now. But yeah, highly recommend. This shoe in particular, obviously don't know the other shoes, but I will be investigating and trying more out in the future. Just, I don't really need to own loads of shoes. So just these ones for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop any questions you have about the shoes in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to get back to you. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new and I'll see you in the next one.